Hi guys, this is Niall McNulty with Matthew Chen and Ben Robinson. He's just in here though, and this is Chen's deck profile from European uh, European Championships 2022. Would you like to get into it? Yeah, so I only made a top 64 with this deck, sadly, but I thought it was still a good choice for the uh, format. So I played a Punk Danger Tear. So I'll just go over that. Uh, play three, 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 one, and just one Sully. Uh, I think this is pretty standard. We cut Matt and Noise because it just wasn't that necessary, and it wasn't good. Versus many other matches besides like Sprite and stuff. It's just ne it's just never better than Suliak in in terms of this build that we're making, uh, right? Yeah, pretty much. Suliak plays around Dark Roller and stuff like that, yeah. so it's nice. I think some Punk versions as well were like cutting a Rhino Heart, but we decided to max out as well, so that yeah, that's you like you want to mill it. We want to keep it to yeah. forty, just so we max out on milling it here. Uh, one instant crack card, and then dangers we play just the bare minimum. Uh, you want to play like. A certain amount of these because they're really good going second with because they always just generate random pluses so like versus sprite uh you just um like out advantage them mm -hmm. so they can't like negate everything you have because you just keep generating cards they, f um, they fill a nice space with yeah. fusioning as well as getting like to dweller types for curious and decent mills as well for um, getting to my dragon shout out to the gold rares oh Get out, God, of God is Get the out of here. Get out of Next. Uh, the punk engine. So we can only play two Ziarman because uh, of space, but we still. Also, just trying to control the normal summons, right? Yeah, it was just too many normal summons because it's usually this and Rhino, your hard ones, but Merle can also be your normal yeah. summon as well. It's a bit weird. You play too many. Engine's really great, though. Uh, engine's really great. It makes Chaos run Baron, yeah, it's crazy. And then finally, this and this. This is to make Baron, and this is the best card in the game. Should well, I be Necro well, as well? Best card like, in the game is Mystic Mind, but we don't talk about that. Forcing the, then, the punk engine alone, right? Just like forcing Baron and then through Nibiru, just Baroning again because of Chaos Yeah. yeah. The non engine cards are. This. Like, this is necessary. Uh, not many people are on the beat cop Mystic Mind combo, so this was like a fine Mystic Mind out. Uh, these are really good at cracking most boards going second. This you can even use going first, so it's fine. And Cold Buy is Cold Buy. Yep. Uh, the extra, I think this is probably the most interesting part of the deck, mm. so we played just five fusions. Um, you always have to try and like resolve this card to send itself in special tier first, mm -hmm. and then you try and fuse into Garuda to recycle it. Um, otherwise you just run out of a kit. And you can go the same, uh, the same again, re recycling Garuda with Dragon as well. That means the like, well. never comes up, yep. unless like you're in a serious grind situation, or they smashes it somehow. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But yeah, it, it, this was fine. It was great. I think um, we were kind of all, all also abusing the fact that people probably wouldn't expect us to just be on one as well, right? So, yeah. Yeah. And then uh, just two synchros. Yeah, these are insane. Mm -hmm. uh, this We played this uh, punk version just because uh, you have Baron to negate at least one Mystic Mine activation. Or like an evenly, for instance, post uh, game one. Mm -hmm. So this is like really important. Um, and then finally the rank fours. Uh, this is really good. It it's like you, it's fine versus sprite because they can't make toad reliably. And then this is just a crazy extender. Like you can mill Ziarman and then this summons off back Ziarman for instance, or you can just draw two and discard her tier. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. Tagara is um, really is like. And then the link monsters. This, 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 this. Uh, so this is insane. It mills anything. I've even milled like. Galaxy Cyclone just to make sure my board is like literally unbreakable because I just mill any everything previously anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, this is to fetch an every necro. This is just great utility. It summons like most things in the format. This is to make Bomber Dragon during opponent's turn. And this is just to summon back Merle or it summons back IP if you. There's some weird lines where you like go into this, into this, and then yeah, basically. Um, but yeah, this. Uh, How was Bomber for you? I didn't miss Zero Boris, thankfully, and this is better in some most of the decks, especially combo and mid range, than Zero Boris's. Mm -hmm. um, you, it's not a kill button, but at least it's multiple disrupts in just one link monster, so it's really good. The most important thing is his, like, when you proc it, you're fusioning too, so. Yeah, it's, like if you summon Collider Hut under it, you can get an extra it's like a, fusion. It's another spin and a pop, yeah. and then another pop if you need uh -huh. to. 
side deck. It's three uh, three neighbor. Uh, we actually played these hand traps. Uh, I think this was actually pretty good. It like you can hit elf for uh, the sprite deck, and then you can hit this card for the tear deck, yeah. which is. So this was actually good, and then like, if they talent you at that point, it hurts a little bit if they ping a starter card out of your hand, and you mm. only had one starter card, but at least like, they couldn't set up full full board, because like, this usually stops them from getting to Toad, unless they like, hard open a water, which mm -hmm. is, I mean, it's quite likely, but if you break their board, they literally can't come back at you, unless they just have some crazy hand stuff, mm. so this is because they lose their follow up entirely. Uh, this card was, I think, a particularly interesting pick for the f format because um, I think Danger Tail was quite popular at Euros, uh, and this card is actually quite good into that deck for some reason. Yeah, I like, think a lot of people underestimate that, yeah. but you just wait for the end board, right? Because yeah. the majority of builds aren't running Baron. Yeah, they just end on like Sprite, Elf, um, IP, and Dweller, so you can just mirror them. Resolving a Havnis before can be quite funny too. Yeah. Yeah, it attributes your own uh, tier monsters and triggers them. It's crazy. Uh, and for the back removal, that. Uh, this is, re like, it covers a lot of things. This is just reboot. It kills d -Berry. And then this, you put this over ga extra copies of Galaxy Cycling because you can put this in and ping field spells. Uh, we decided, and it also kills it. So you can put it in for Brave Sprite. You can put it in for the Mirror because in case they miss it, mind you, but it also trades with the Pearl right? Um, Pelerino, the, mm -hmm. the field spell, and it covers like rogue. It covers like because a lot of rogue also play like field spells and stuff. So I think it was nice. And then finally, let's card of the format, pre Mystic uh, This came in versus the tier, the, uh, the tier mirror a lot, especially when they dwell. You just whack this down, and then you're not on the dweller anymore because they they just pass back to you. Mm -hmm. So that was no point of it. Um, I don't know if this card should be in the side deck in the future though, once like everyone knows about how oppressive this card is, this format, so they'll be heavily prepared for it in the future. That was it. Deck. Anything else to say? Uh, shout outs. Oh my god. Uh, I don't know. Okay. So shout out to people from Knots Locals like Nay, James, uh, a bunch of the other guys that came along, like Ed, Quinn, there's loads of people. Uh, shout outs to Tier Zero, obviously. Yeah. Uh, like now behind the camera and everyone else. We had like seven people enter the event and three of us top, so good job. Yep. Well done, Ben. Here as well. Well done to him. And well yeah, uh, I think that's all. Oh, shout-outs to Acer as well for that. Yeah, shout-outs to Acer. Memorable speech. It was incredible. <laughs> and I, I have saved it to Acer, so I'll be listening to it regularly. All right. Well, thanks very much. Thank you.